Hey guys, so I did an experiment and these are the ocean zones in a bottle. There are three zones to the ocean. So I want you to imagine this deep ocean water and the sun is shining down onto the ocean. Now in the first zone of the ocean, you can see it's clear, right? It's light, there's a lot of sun coming into this water. You could see fishes swimming around. So a lot of sun gets in this first zone of the water. And we call this zone in the ocean, the sunlight zone. Um, we learned that coral reefs need sunlight and warmth to grow. So this is where you'll find a lot of coral reefs growing and a lot of fish and animals living because the sun reaches them. And then at night when it's dark outside and the sun goes away, it would also be a little bit dark in this water, but light still reaches. As you travel deeper into the ocean, you get to the twilight zone. And here in the twilight zone, there is no, there's very little sun. So you can still get some sunlight coming through, but it's a little bit dark all the time. And this is kind of like sunset at your house when you look outside and it's starting to get dark outside. It's not as light as it was before, um, but it's not completely dark yet. And so this is called the twilight zone in the ocean. And no matter what, even if it's a really bright sunny day like today, a lot of sunlight is not going to reach this. It's going to be a little bit dark all the time. And then as you travel even deeper into the ocean, you get to the midnight zone. And this midnight zone is so deep that sunlight cannot reach the water. So if you were to swim down, you'd swim through the sunlight zone and then you'd get into a little bit darker twilight zone. And if you kept swimming and diving deeper, 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 you would eventually come to the midnight zone and you would need to bring a flashlight because it's dark all the time under here. And it doesn't matter if it's daylight or nighttime outside, if the sun is shining bright or what, no sunlight reaches this bottom part of the ocean. And so the animals, the, the fish and the creatures that live down in this deep midnight zone have developed special ways of living in darkness all the time. Some fish even have little lights that dangle off themselves. Can you imagine being able to light up all by yourself? So you guys could explore some of the really cool creatures that live deep in the midnight zone where there's no light. And then today we learned about the coral reefs that live mostly in the sunlight zone where there's a lot of sun and warmth. Most of the animals in the ocean live up here. You might find some whales and sharks and other big creatures living more in the twilight zone. And then again, some more really cool creatures that live deep, deep in the darkest part of the ocean. So these are the three zones of the ocean.